Sir Keir has spent the preceding months pushing his new management image of the Labour Party. To do this, the opposition leader has elevated the importance of patriotism and national pride in his party's agenda. Yet, Sir Keir has previously talked of how he would significantly downsize the royal family, a keystone of Britain's identity. And while this may at first appear to fly in the face of the firm, inner members themselves have confessed that they want to streamline the family. Prince Charles, the heir apparent to the British throne, has said he plans to have a few core royals perform most of the duties when he ascends the throne, shedding those on the periphery. The royal family in its current setup has been described as bloated. Around 16 members use their titles and carry out duties while receiving public money and revenue from estates. During Jeremy Corbyn's time as Labour leader, despite being a staunch Republican and announcing his opposition to the monarchy, he assured he would never seek to abolish the framework. The same could not be said for other Labour MPs, like Lisa Nandy who ran for the leadership alongside Sir Keir, who said she would vote to scrap the firm in the event of a referendum. This has led people like Paul Embury, a trade unionist and Blue Labour member, to warn Sir Keir over avoiding any conflict with the royals should he wish to win over the electorate. Talking about the fall of Labour's Red Wall, a band of working-class seats in Wales, the Midlands and the north of England, he told Express. Co.uk. I think there's always a fairly solid element of working-class support for the royal family. On the left, there are some people who are strident Republicans and I think that's a battle Labour needs to avoid. We are a monarchy. Most people as far as I can see quite like the fact that we're a monarchy. One day we might not be, but until that time comes, I don't think it's something that people on the left should go to war about. There's a lot of support for the monarchy around the country. It wouldn't be wise for any movement or political party who wants to govern or win support to be seen to be attacking the royal family or undermining the monarchy in any sort of way, and so it wouldn't be wise for Labour to start banging the drum for republicanism in any sort of vociferous way. <laughs>